All right, it's time to play more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Ace Attorney. Um, episode four, Attorney Mokuba. It's time for the trial. Are you excited? I just want to know when the parrot's going to come into play. That was so random. Squaw! Squaw! Anyways. Uh, December 26th, day after Christmas. Christmas Eve? No, Christmas after. 9.44 a.m. The Shakur Defendant Lobby number two! This is already a hot mess. Oh, you, you like music? Know. It's different, right? That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. Oh, I'm he gonna voice- He hasn't lost I'll, I'll, in his 40-year career. I wanna voice Karma. We'll see. No, he I'm gonna voice- He is a god of prosecution, <laughs> right? A god. Yeah. NOT A SINGLE KISS! <laughs> He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He <laughs> taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me multiplied by a factor of 10. Ooh. So, so, was he your teacher, Mr. Ed, Mr. Ashworth? Something like that. And now you're trying to get you found guilty. What a creep. Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing when he's coming out. Yay! Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! <laughs> He's as ruthless as me times 20. Thought it was times 10. That's pretty ruthless, man! I don't know why I keep using math to get my point across, but he's a god, I say. Oh my I god! Guess something like Mia was to me. Really? Because you don't seem to, like, think about her that much. Speaking of Mia... Oh my- Oh! Um, <laughs> you talking to yourself, Maya? Yeah. Well, maybe you should calm the fuck down. Oh, you want to see her boobs, don't you? You, you dog. Uh, I can't. Sorry, she told I me she, she doesn't I didn't actually mention Mia, so you were just making a random boob comment. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't reach. I think it's because I've been. I haven't been training. I haven't been waterfalls! I mean, under waterfalls! Oh my god, don't remind me about the freaking don't waterfall. Don't go chase the waterfall! What bad timing. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it's your fault, because I, I, I'm i not under waterfall. But I'll try my best though. I hope so. I need a waterfall! <laughs> <laughs> what are you. Waterfalls? Did I hear something about waterfalls? <laughs> uh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. By the way, this music brought to you by um, by uh, this guy named uh, Geico. someone, Geico. Brought to you by Geico. <laughs> it's really good. It's like a remastered, <laughs> or not remastered, but it's like a re remix, or not a remix, but you know what? You feel me? No. God damn it! Who who actually is a buyer? I don't remember the name at the moment. Time I had ah. Geico. Uh, no, it's not Geico. It, it's it's um it's um it's uh it's uh. <laughs> It's JT Paper. Yeah, of course. JT Paper? <laughs> December 25th, 10 a.m. This should court. It's not December 25th. It's Christmas after. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm still used to saying December 25th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not really used to it, but unfortunately, it's no longer correct. Yeah, man. What is now in session for the trial of Mr. Aunt Miles Edgeworth? The defense is ready, Your Honor. Da, da, da. Oh shit. He even has the same cravat. Oh, oh yeah. What is uh, he doing? Just clutching his arm? He's angry. Uh, Mr. Car- <clears throat> Um, uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Dot dot dot. Fool! <laughs> You seriously think that I would stand here, I not completely prepared? Right, my, my apologies. 
Steven got the judge scared. Very well. You'll bring Steven, please. <laughs> Decisive evidence. Wait, I'm trying to make sure, I'm trying to make sure he doesn't sound like the judge, so... <clears throat> you Decide. should make him sound more aloof. I feel like y you you're, aloof? like, yelling, but he's just, like, standing there looking so calm. So, what do you mean aloof? I feel like he has kind of, like, the voice that you gave Harry, but it's more like... I don't remember what I, I don't remember. I what mean, I Larry. But... <laughs> Harry, but nice, nice, nice. He turned to the, the... <laughs> just like oh, yeah. a decisive witness, a like decisive... something like low and creepy. A decisive witness. What else yeah. could possibly be required? Oh, uh, ooh, uh, nothing. Of course, uh, this sh that should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he warranty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I got a detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. His first name is... <laughs> you don't know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Um, <clears throat> uh, describe the incident now. No! Oh, describe the incident now! Yes, sir. It's gonna be a lot of you talking to yourself. I like I it. I just realized. Detective Gumshoe looks. Actually, no. You voice this Gumshoe. <laughs> what? <laughs> do I have to do an impression of your voice for him? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you you say it first, and I'll copy you. Uh, please take a look at the map. Well, I don't know. I don't, uh, know. I don't remember how. Please take a look at the map. <laughs> <laughs> The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. <laughs> He's like there a was nerd. a boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12:10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Oh my god! Then the boat started to move. <laughs> it went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Testify to the court about the arrest now. W w wait, Mr. Von Kormer. Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling the, th those positions. No, 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 no. Well, there's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your devil and say that we're guilty. That is your role. I I I I yes, of course. I I you're quite right. Judge is such a pushover. <laughs> I know. Hold on. Yeah? Ready? Yeah. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, you're you're this guy again. Uh oh, um uh <coughs> A man caught in the station around thirty minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Miles Ashford. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross action now. <laughs> you received a call from a man? The fuck is that? Uh, yep. You know, a human. But you said there was a woman camping there. Oh. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? And she had a voice that sounded like this. Oh, what the hell's that? Objection! Uh, that woman! <laughs> That's being, being that. <laughs> the voice that I just said objection. That woman! No, I don't, I'm not doing that. That woman and the man who called into the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Irk! There were testimony who. <laughs> <laughs> Quite similar, however. Today, I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping. 
A lot of heart. What happened next, detective? <clears throat> we handed you the serum of the Aquarius. Okay. Hold it, I say. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. I bet that's your personal motto. Yeah. I look forward to your next year's salary review. What the heck? Uh, 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 so much Why look is everyone forward. just bowing to him? <laughs> I know. So so much look forward to these days. This is no time for dejected daydreaming. Continue. Uh, y y yes, sir. That's where you found me. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well. From what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Uh, like... Relaxed. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been in the force? I'm gonna hit you. Facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. I mean, it's a fact that he looked calm. <laughs> yes. Man, he's got a share of objections, <laughs> and he says it in that really deep voice. OBJECTION! Now, I didn't sp- <laughs> I like that you try to say it so that I can be like, hold it! <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know! We have a deep trusting relationship with the prosecutors. If- Detective, the court is interested in your mu musings. Oh my god. Deep, trusting, poppycock! I just noticed he has his ears pierced. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no! I've never heard so many flippin' comments from an active detective on the force. This kind of sounds like you're sharing your opinion a lot, sir. Mm. Sure. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue, now! Oh. I didn't Did read you that. find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart fatally. Can I just say I wasn't like when I looked at the picture that popped up on the screen before you said single bullet, I thought it was half a bread loaf. <laughs> what? George, <laughs> here's the bullet. It didn't strike bones, so its shape is well preserved. Very well! The court sets the bullet into evidence. Sets the bullet out of the court record! If. Oh, it was found in the victim's body. I was about to say, if someone was shot with this, they wouldn't have found it on the ground. <laughs> so, we have the risk. Thank you. I cleaned it myself. With your tongue? Yeah. Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? Yes, a pistol. It looks just like that. The Church of Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of info. Please revise your testimony. What? So sorry, your, your honor. Um, the murder weapon we found in the boat was deciphered evidence. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tis, tis. Fuck you. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edward's right hand. <laughs> what? Really? really? The hell? How come I didn't know about this? Order, order! So, Mr. Edward's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon? Alright, James, why didn't he come tell you? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accept it into evidence. Yes, sir, added to court record. Members of the court, we now have the right now the using them. What? Wait, <laughs> excuse me? We now we have the what? We now have the pistol used in That's the. That's not what you said the first time. 
used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Yes? Was the bullet found in the body fired from the pistol? You know. Yes, the, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. The pistol. Hey, Nick. What does that mean? Ballistic markings. I'm an idiot. Shocking. Imagine someone here does not know something as basic as blood, ballistic markings. <laughs> Nick, he's clearing at me. Tiss, tiss, very well. I'll explain. Actually, Josh, you do it. Uh, uh me? Oh, um, uh, <coughs> markings. <laughs> ballistic markings are <laughs> like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic mark fingerprints to see which gun was fired from the shot. It's quite accurate, in fact. Indeed. This leads to the one in inedible conclusion. The bullets found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this, this pistol. In fact, this pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. Order, order! I'm enjoying just sitting here. Okay. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Well, Judge. Wait, no, that's, I mean, no, that's my voice. <laughs> Wait, am I? Am I, I, I feel like. Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I missing any voices? I feel like I am. Uh, what? Am I, am I missing any voices a lot? I feel like I, feel like I am. <laughs> I, so, I think you're, for the most part, getting them pretty correct. Okay, I feel like I keep. Okay. <clears throat> I'd say. Oh, okay. Honestly, I could declare better at this point. In fact, I will. However, I won't because I'm nice. No, no, no! You wish to hear the way to speak out <laughs> Um, I, I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last 10 minutes. Judge! Y yes? What are you doing? A 10 minute recess now! But, but, but wait, I, 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 I... I'm gonna hit you! Just make you flip the gavel get all the way to bed! <laughs> yes! Uh-huh. This court would take a 10 minute recess. My god. Who's running this court anyway? Well, imagine having an annoying <laughs> prosecutor like that. December 25th, 11.09 a.m. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Yes, I killed him. I mean, what? Um, hmm. <laughs> And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me. I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. Was the sniper? Huh? I'm thinking. The what? I'm wondering, like, was it like a sniper or something, and then he just dropped a bullet to frame Edgeworth, uh, maybe? That'd be crazy. You don't know? Weren't you right there? <laughs> I heard a gunshot from very close by. It was the country bumpkin! <laughs> <laughs> then the other man fell from the boat. Isn't that. I swear there's like. Some show or movie or something where someone like fires a bullet from a camera somehow like they set up a sniper and disguise it as a camera and they assassinate someone that way <laughs> I don't remember what it was though don't then know. the other man fell from the boat I can't say wh oh wait this is in Phoenix I can't say why but I thought at the time that he had shot himself you mean it was a suicide that's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I gonna convince anyone of that? Say, Maya. Oh, um, uh. Say, Maya. <laughs> oh, 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 what? L L C F K. Oh, sorry. I forgot that you were an android. 
Any progress with Mia? Oh, um, no, she hates me. She told me, like, fuck you, James. Oh, that's good. I mean, I'm glad she finally got the courage to tell you. She's been, like, gossiping to me for a while about how much she hates you. No, I know. I'm not good for anything. I'm a lunatic. If I can't call my sister. <laughs> what did you say? What? I, f I swear I heard you say I have a little dick. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, you're useless. Say it, say it, say it, say it. I want to, I want to. Say it, say it. I accidentally... It. <laughs> wow. You dick. Um, well, actually, you don't know lie. You don't have any trial experience or techniques. Yeah, you're pretty <laughs> much useless, but I can't say that. It's okay, I Nick. wanted to say it. I can't tell you're thinking it. I can tell. It's obvious that you think of it. In fact, I'm gonna kill myself right now. Blech. Oh shit. No. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> blah 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 blah. I'm dead. I can't talk, so I'm not actually talking. Blah 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 blah. Ah, <laughs> everyone has their off days. You'll learn okay. to talk again. <laughs> I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately when I try to talk. You never know when my luck's gonna run out and I'll never talk again. Really? See, you're already there. Whoa! Um, I don't know what weird roleplay you guys are doing, but don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh? Oh, sorry. Um. <laughs> Alright, court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness now! <laughs> Imagine he started doing that. <laughs> uh, yep. Yes. <laughs> well, Ms. Lotta Hart, take the. Just, uh... <laughs> Lotta Hart, you are a research student at the university. Yeah, I am. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw tonight at the incident. And don't add any trivia or subjective. Understood? I, I, I have a gun. Y'all need to learn some manners. You know what? No, no, no. Understand. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. Your testimony, please. <laughs> when does it count? It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't nary a thing on the lake but that boat. Ooh. Enough. Huh? Judge! She happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo. Accept as evidence. Well, well this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of murder. Order! Order! In the court! I will remove people from this court if I do not have order immediately! That's the first time I ever said that. <laughs> As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on the lake. So, the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who had shot him. In fact, yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edward! I said order! What the fuck? Swam it, y'all! Well, Judge, uh, the evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. In fact, I would declare a verdict. You're guilty. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? What the fuck you think this is? No, no, no. We have a photographic proof. What question could there be possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and yet they're all read guilty. You lose. Or, should I say, do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Very well. If you have to, you may call Simon as a witness. But, you will only flounder and ask meaningless questions, which you will, find to find you will fail to find anything. 
Sarah, I would appreciate it if you would just say things that were um, objective and don't contain opinions. <laughs> and then I will have held you in. Cut that record! Um, Nick? What is. Was that my voice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the land of the living, by the way. I, I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a country. country issue with the fact in her testimony? Yes. Well, I'm impressed that I noticed nothing. So uh, don't ask me if you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Tis, tis, tis. Very well. I pray for your sake this isn't a waste of time. Otherwise, I, 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 I might have to kill you. Wait, 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 Just after midnight, you say. In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, you didn't say but it. Christmas Day. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's December 25th. December huh? 25th. Oh, uh, yeah, well, yes. OBJECTION! I know you fine what- Nah, I don't, I don't do that voice. I- Oh, fine, I'll scream that still. I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. <laughs> I was in my car. Uh -oh. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use on my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Miss Hart. Could you be more specific about your research? Um, no, no, no. What does the witness point of encamping by the lake have to do with this case? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. Wait, wait I'm the one that who does say that. Well, I did say it already. Uh, ob objection is sustained. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> then say it already. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? No. I looked after I heard that noise. She said that already. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, I told you to do this, not, not that. N no leisurely chat with the witness. You're wasting my time. <laughs> you clearly see the two men. Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? No. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. Here's also a photo! What the fuck is wrong with you? He jumped in quick. He's hiding something. I mean, she didn't have to be there and like witness the murder yeah. for her to have a photo of it because it's just set to take pictures at loud noises. True. So there should be two bullets. Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Hmm. Well, yeah, sure. Because it was probably shot once to kill him and then he shot that gun to frame Edgeworth, I'm guessing. So there were two bullets. Hmm. Well, yeah, sure. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. In fact, I'm gonna hit you. Contradictions, Mr. Bright, not a meaningless babble. Von Karma, <laughs> you're so annoying. <laughs> He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. That sounds pretty <laughs> sure. How come you're so sure? Objection! <laughs> well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. It's it an objection! Fine, <laughs> Almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. 
Is she looking for the, yeah. the dick? No, no, no! Mr. Right, no speaking of dicks! <laughs> <laughs> no need for further questions. In fact, objections sustained. Uh, that's what I'm. Sustained already! Oh, sustained! Y yes, uh, of course. Oh, great. Enough! I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. In fact, I can't call you Mr. Wrong. It seems you are unable to find a conjunction in, in the testimony. Well, you have in the past, so I ask now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on. No, no, no. You want me to hit you? Mr. Wrong. Yes. I'm afraid that I will have to penalize any further outbursts. I will shoot you whenever you... You're gonna penalize my further outbursts? <laughs> <laughs> By holding you in contempt of court. And if that hap and if that happens, you have to leave the court immediately. Understood? <laughs> Nick! Linus has already is fishing, real fishy, Nick! Yep. But if, if I can't say anything, what can I do? I don't know, but I believe we covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. And pass your judgment. Okay, very well. Uh, Mr. Miles Ashworth, please take the stand. What the? Who's much of that? No. Who was that? Edward? It me! Objection! Oh. The useless one. Why don't I have a voice when I said it? Is, is, is something wrong? Do you need to use the facilities? No, I do not! Not a heart! It has to be stinks! It smells like fish! It's unclear whether you're looking at the lake or not. It's highly doubtful that you're actually saw Miss Ashworth. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. Lana! Did you really clearly see Miss Ashworth that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? Did you see it? You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the friend's outburst. Answer me, Lana! Answer me! What's the big idea treating me like some kind of criminal? I saw him, I swear it. I saw Edgeworth. Jackson. Enough! Judge! Declared an event in of court. Y y yes of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned! Guard, let's go Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. Using Clinton Court, I must leave. No. No. Come here, you! Wait! I'm near you. Yo, I was the one that <laughs> made the others, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. No, no, no. Ha. Huh. What's the difference? Are you not. All that event is going to be ready to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix, right? I'm sorry, um, you, so you didn't say right. What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> that was not in the testimony. Gasp. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. You bitch. Order, 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 oh, order. I want pizza. You're in, cont You're in a contempt of the court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Imagine he yelled order and then he just like took out his phone and was like, give me a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be here in ten. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Comer, but I cannot. Yes. What? Someone told him no. You go against me? Ms. Slaughter Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cross examine her again. But he is in contempt of court. No, I am! I'm a girl! <laughs> hmm, you are a girl. Very well. Mario Pay, for being a girl, you will leave the court immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Nick! That's sexist! You haven't been wanting to harass, good luck! 
Bonsoir! What is happening? Bonsoir! Bonsoir! Why don't you come uh, back in here unless you get rid of your vagina? No! <laughs> I could not for that melodrama. Listen, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witness. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your false examination now! <laughs> that last statement. Ow. Bounce go wow wow. I saw it clear as day. The man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Well, what about the other man? You cannot expect oh. to be more... To be allowed to li literally ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe Who's you claimed there was a contradiction in this witness testimony. Literally, she hasn't even answered my question. Well, find it. If you can. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I have to send you a pen. Oh, you might want to save. What are you, you, you might, talking about? You might, you might want to save. Yeah, you should save. <laughs> I literally didn't- I barely finished my question. <laughs> I haven't even pointed out a contradiction yet. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> I don't know if I can find anything in that. But I can't squander Maya's efforts either. Man on the bow was Mr. Edgeworth. Bang, bang, <sighs> bang, 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 ding, 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 ding. What's well, Edgeworth gonna turn out to be left handed or something? Uh, should I show them how blurry it was? Got that. Fuck you. Got you. How do you get so far fast? Well, because I was thinking of the whole time, like, I know. it's established that it was, like, foggy that yeah, day, so every time yeah, you, you saw them, like, obviously. Damn it, I was hoping you were showing up that. <laughs> I mean, I... I was wondering if, like, it was going to turn out that he was left-handed or something, and that's why he couldn't have shot him from his right hand, but I didn't think that was it. Look at this photograph. The photo I took. The very same. Something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. S so, this picture was taken with professional, high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? Mr. Wright has a point. A point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please! What? <laughs> Are you confessing? <laughs> <laughs> Yet now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Ms. Part. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Of course. I said I could and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Mint Carmen of the Doom. How Edward was seen. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished sitting at my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See, no problem. Use binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. I don't think that's how binoculars work. Mr. I don't Ro? think they just, like, banish fog. Mr. Rowe. Did I save earlier? Yeah. yeah. So, how could you see Edgeworth? 
Now just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee tops never find a girl from where I'm from. The friends attorneys have trouble with it. It's just the way it is. That's life. Nobody loves me. Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? It was a cold night and the mist was thick as grits. Your camera. Yeah, it's got an automatic. The issue with curse. The we issue, know. The issue we are. Wait, I was reading that. The camera has nothing to do with it at hear? all. Objection sustained. Yes, it literally does. Binoculars. Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars, for that? I've got doubts about your camera, too. Is that really to take pictures of meteor showers? She's looking for the dick. The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Hmm. Is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue when you get a lot of questioning. If not, but know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wong, do you wish to press further? You might want to save, or not, whatever. This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, your honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case, therefore I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little overboard there. Okay. Ms. Hart, you were testify the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Miss Hart, what made you choose that lake to photograph meteors? You know the fog gets thick on that lake. It's not very suited to stargazing. Yeah, well, you see, I... I guess I wasn't thinking too straight, huh? Mr. Raw, I will not have you badgering my witness. Because of her challenge intellect. Just realized something. What? Every single thing I say, he says objection or hold it. This must be what it's like to be around Phoenix for Edgeware. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No wonder okay. he hates okay. it. Okay. I, think, I, I think Phoenix is the villain. <laughs> oh my god. Now wait a minute. Continue your testimony. You were saying how it was that you saw Edgeworth? Oh, so you're dumb. Grr. No unnecessary comments, please. Otherwise, I'll have to kill you, too. If there was a heavy fog, how would binoculars change that at all? Yeah, that was my question. Even binoculars can't see through fog. But you say you clearly saw him. Er, I did. Yeah. I will hit you. Enough. There is no room for doubt in her testimony. I literally just made room for doubt. I have to find a clear contradiction. I just did. I don't care how many von Karmic objections I get. I'm going to find a hole in this testimony. But I just did. She never said... How the binoculars saw through the fog. Are we just gonna ignore that? I mean, you could, you know, you could object to it still. Wait. I can object again. Um, you might want to save. <laughs> oh, 
automatically take a picture when it landmines is detected. So, um, w w what are you thinking? Um, I'm just reading stuff right now. An old photograph. Article about a monster sighted at Gord Lake. Overhead map. She was right there. Oop. You're right, it was a cold night and the mist was thick as grits. Got back in the car. Oh, uh, you need help? No, I'm just thinking. DL6 is written on the back. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. But it was facing the lake, though. Uh huh. You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie! Says who? I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Ugh. Mr. Rum, what are you driving at? Where's your car? It's really obvious what I'm saying, Judge. I don't know why you always need clarification. The witness was not at the lake. I mean, photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. I get that's a lie, but what's the point of this lie? <laughs> why is she lying? Well then, what was, that, what was she photographing? Your Honor, take a look at this. What was Miss Hart trying to photograph at the lake? Oh. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Gordy? Is that a dick? Ah, the signing of dicks. Well, Miss Hart. I, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Do I have proof? Is any of this proof? I mean, I guess just the fact that it was facing the lake is what I would say, but I already presented that. Can I present it again? James? What? I mean... Could I... Good luck. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Okay, let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. Otherwise, I'll shoot you. The camera? For the map?
Does the map have something to do with it? Where she decided to go. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Okay, I didn't explain it. <laughs> or go home. Uh. 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 Good for you. I'm in a good mood. Um. I guess. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Yeah, that was the answer. <laughs> the camera is set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here taken when a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Order! How many times do I gotta fucking say it? I too thought it was a little strange. Oh, did you? Well, Miss Hart. You were camping there to try to take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Not bad. Are you all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. You wasted our time. You wasted many of our time. It is nothing more than that witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. Hey. But, as you so sufficiently so said, so what? Who cares? It changes nothing. Or, Edgeworth and the other person were out on the lake, and Gordy showed up, and they were shooting, trying to defend oh my God. themselves from Gordy, but then Imagine. accidentally shot him. <laughs> you were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it, but what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Ms. Hart. Where did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from this court? Please revise your testimonial. Alright, fine. I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. And I'm gonna spot it. Hmm. Honestly, if this were real life and I was a lawyer against this guy, I would have thrown something at his face by now. Sure. Actually, I'm not a research student. Are you dad serious? That's a lie. Oh my god. I'm an investigative. Are you kidding me? That was a lie this whole time. It could be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out on the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at that lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. A flash? I was looking right at that boat, and the whole time crossed my heart and hoped to fry. Okay, dokie then. What do you hope to fry? Um, the witness testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she was a witch student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. Uh, your your mic is doing that thing again where it cuts it's out. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There is no need to waste more of our time with another point in this cross examination. Uh, hmm. I claim the defense's right to cross examine the witness, Your Honor. Fun Karma's up to something. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her. Why? Was there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. You may- you seem sure of yourself, so you must have something in mind. Heh. <laughs> that would be a first. 
Very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross examination, Mr. Wrong? If there is no problem with this testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at, at that time, Mr. Wrong. Understand, Mr. Wrong? Uh huh. <laughs> hmm. That's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera? Yep, borrowed it from a university professor. It analyzes every sound it picks up, and then when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. Hmm. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if word got out what I was up to, the lake would be swarming with competitors. Competitors. Yeah, second-rate shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. But it was already reported on in the article. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually... Mr. Wong, I'll have you no know, asking what questions with this relevance to this case. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure. But it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. There wasn't much else to look at? Yep. I don't know. She heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. Kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What'd I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue or else I kill you. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Do you want to die? Flash. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe you was shot from some other place? I don't think so, nope. The lake was smooth as glass and nobody was on the shore either. I better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. An investigative photographer? Yep. You get your photo and sell it to the press. It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures at my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Oh, uh, what? There was a... Oh, I <laughs> What see. the hell does that wouldn't mean? UFO. <laughs> oh. A UFO? You know, an unidentified flying object? A UFO. That's when I had sort of a revelation. I knew I should become an investigative or photographer. I see. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. It's Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah, they even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on the local news is rumor of the month segment. Qualifies. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey, they also had a picture of him in the newspaper. For real. Oh, um, this is a fight. I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Uh huh. <sighs> Oh, 
that's why you... oh, I already did this. And what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm highfalutin enough to be called a manner of anything. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. A UFO? A UFO. First of all, she said Lufa. Oh. three times. Wait, didn't she only mention two times? There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Exactly is that related? No, you idiot, Mr. Wong. I was trying to say it says it fired three times, but she's only described two times. <laughs> Should I point out that she was there to look at Gordy? <laughs> the hell, why? Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? Well, what's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It's the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. You're calling me an You're idiot. You're not normal. What? Y'all want to step over here and say that? Let's take this outside. You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any side of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Order! Continue, Mr. Wong. I mean, right? <laughs> you testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? <laughs> well, now that y'all mention it. I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Hey. Are you saying that you were not watching that boat then? Sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I thought, you know, I could be witness to a murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat till now. You idiot. This, this is a total waste of hard for. But hey! You got the photograph, you got proof. Yeah, you, you, okay, so. D did you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, right. That's why I took this photo, Liam. Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? 
was she gonna say? She took the photo and what? She said, shut your pie hole. Wait a second. Shut your p m mind hole. She even had a photograph to prove it. You really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. That's why she said she's go going to enlarge the photo. She's gonna drop the quality of my but Let's see who who's. Who knew? She enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. It was Von Karma in the boat. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth, or worse. What should I do? Miss Hart, look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Wait, what? You that's enlarged so, that's so random. <laughs> you enlarged this photograph, did you not? <laughs> yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You, you old fool. You idiot. That was supposed to be a secret. Porter, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karmer? Uh, 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 uh. Miss Hart. Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The penis. The false commission objects to the submission of this evidence. I object. Objection denied. And the witness was showed the enlargement of the court. Here it is. Oh. Okay. It's bigger. <laughs> Can't tell who it is. So. Hey, yeah. Hmm. You still cannot see who is firing the shot. It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. It's like a, a, an object. Regardless, I'll set this as, as every audience. Why is there a flash? When guns shoot, it makes it a little light. Is that true? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, GTA? There's not a light when guns shoot in GTA. Well, it's subtle. It's like flare ding, ding, ding. gun. Not, not that. When you shoot bullets, there's a little light that comes out of it. It's, it's subtle. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're wrong, too. You know what? <laughs> I'm not Mr. Wrong, am I? Yeah. Happy now, Mr. Karma? I mean, Mr. Right? Hmm, there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement. You got the enlargement. You're welcome. In fact, no, no, no. And a little good has it done for any of us. Then why were you so desperate for me not to see it, you weirdo? That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I see. Did, did you say it? Continue. It's over, obviously. Then I would like to close the examination of Mr. Hart. And, and none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Kormer, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to do when the fraud began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to clear my verdict. Um. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo. Somewhere. Oop! I've got it. I've got it. I know what, what it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? You'll see. Say it loud, say it loud, say it loud. Your Honor, this evidence. I believe we have spent enough this time talking about evidence. God damn it. Hmm, indeed. We've heard opinions on every piece of evidence but this enlargement. I see no point in saying that. In fact, it's guilty. Edward's guilty. Okay, this the end. Bad, Let's go bad. home. Your Honor, there is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What? What? What in the butt? Why are you getting an erection right now? Oh. Mr. Wrong, you will show the court what you mean, otherwise I will kill you. 
You seen my gun? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. Oh. Oh. Um. Wait, I I have to click for my mouse to be back. I don't want it to click on the wrong spot. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. Pegasus W is there. Uh. No. Oh. Um. Wait. Here, say, 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 say it loud. What do you think it is? I'm just, I'm just curious. The shooter? I, I'll tell you. I'm not sure I understand. I mean, I know the answer. Come on, just tell me. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. What's about? What about this shooter is strange? Look at the hand holding the pistol, James. The hand. That what? hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand. I mean, no, that's, that's my oh, voice. This man's left hand does what? What the fuck are you talking about? Let wait. me show you. I'll wait, show so... you the evidence that left hand wait, contradicts. Wait, wait. So, did you know that? Like, you can tell that right away? There's prints from Edgeworth's right hand. Yeah, before when you said about Edgeworth was lefty, I was like, oh god, she got it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you said that so early in the case, I was like, oh god. I just, I... That's always what it is. Whenever they have someone, like, with a gun, this is like such a trope in mysteries for really? it to be like, oh, but it turns out they were left-handed, really? so it couldn't uh, have been that that's firing a thing? from their right hand. Yeah, that's a thing, and it's so stupid because, like, yes, you wouldn't prefer it, but it doesn't completely invalidate it. You could do things with your left hand if you're not left-handed. Uh, I guess <laughs> or you could true. do things with your right hand if you're not right-handed. <laughs> it's yeah, always so true. dumb. I was just mad that you got but it. Yeah, it's, right. it's like a thing. Okay. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Order! Order in a court! Oh, I didn't say it. Okay. Now that everyone in the courtroom has fired it down, I would like to be convened in this court of law. Mr. Wong. Yes. You have given us definitive proof there. We now know that it was not Mr. Ashford who fired a pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then, then, then who did? Who's nicely? As we have seen, there were no other people on the lift that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? <laughs> Larry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? You you choose Larry, I... your best friend. You draw on the vote. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Give us the option if they're gonna say no. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wrong. Your answer. I shot you. Oh, I actually took away. <laughs> Good job. Hmm. <laughs> he chose Larry. And then he didn't even say Larry. There is only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was another than the victim what? himself. Shot himself? S suicide? Order, order! What the fuck do you mean? You mean suicide? Yes. I can think of no other explanation. Bah! Hmm. Indeed, that seems the only, only remaining option. What the fuck? I'm so, so very sorry. But suicide is out of the question. Why? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from a further than a meter away. A meter? That's three feet. In fact, three feet equals a few, uh, 12 inches. I'm kidding. Um, there is no way it could have been suicide. 
Order, order. Mr. Von Clummer, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Hello? Oh. I was hmm. reading it. Oh. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion on. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. You literally just proved it wasn't. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, then the, why? You talk in circles, sir. <laughs> it's like a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for this day. It is my opinion that it must have been Mr. Edgeworth. However, that seems to not be true. Anyway, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the court the orders the first and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Mm-hmm. Idiot. <sighs> that is all. This court is adjourned. Bang. I walk out of this courtroom with my middle fingers up on each hand. <laughs> December twenty nope, fifth. Don't even. Too late. Woo, that was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent. Right? Have a little gratitude. What happened out there on that lake, anyway? If you didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I didn't kill him. I was just kidding around. Hm. Look. I'm gonna go check on my. I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell us something for me. What? <laughs> Thank you. Tell. Tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell it away. Yeah. She says in court. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's all. <laughs> Would it kill you to just state how you really feel with a thanks at for real? <laughs> a requisition to transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter, so the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. I heard. Okay, but I heard still two gun sounds gun? like sunshots at just at the minute on December twenty fifth, Christmas See, Day. This is what I was trying to point out earlier, but it didn't go through. It told me I was wrong. What? It said in the other report that there were three gunshots, but she's saying two. It wouldn't let me point that out though. Well, you're getting ahead of yourself. To be <laughs> continued. That's also, uh, that's also that's also a problem with this game. If you know too much, they won't let you um. Yeah, yeah. like I had points deducted when I was yeah. It's because like I was ahead of Phoenix. Yeah, it's because they have like a storyline that, that they need to follow. <laughs> uh. But yeah, um, what do you think so far? Very Cra nice. Crazy, Very right? nice. They did a good. They did a good job making a really annoying villain. I. <laughs> he was constantly objecting. They were like, what do gamers hate? Being constantly interrupted with lore <laughs> Objection! <drops. laughs> Objection! 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 Having people constantly hold their hands and tell them things. Objection! Yes, this is how we will make them hate our character. <laughs> uh, I love this case. Well, yeah. It's true though that like I realized at one point like this is what I'm like the player character to all the other characters just constantly being like here's what I have to say. True, true. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't feel like this video and favorite it and subscribe. Uh -huh. Any last words? No. <laughs>